Hey, hey, what is going on, YouTube? Welcome back or welcome to my channel, Justice Jupiter, for another Tarot Pick a Card reading. So today we're going to do something a little different than my normal. We're going to be at, we're on our vindication. What is your karmic's karma? All right, so we're going to dip into their storyline, see what's going on, what was the lessons that need to be learned from this, and then ultimately what is their karma for, you know, the set information that we discovered um, in the previous rows. So we have our three groups like normal. We have group one with the traditional manga tarot with the dragon's blood jasper. We have group two with the transient light tarot and the Sodalite Tower. And then we have group three with the Medieval Scapini Tarot with the Mystical Merlinite Tower. So go ahead and meditate over your pile, see which one's calls to you, and then I will see you at your read. Bye. Hello, hello, group one. If you chose the Dragon's Blood Jasper Tower and the traditional manga tarot, welcome, you made it to your read. So we're gonna slide your tarot right over here to the front and then we're going to slide your tarot over to the side as we always dip in and get the first row and this is different so this instead of this being your energy and how you would tap into the read this is going to be their general energy so you'll have to take it where it resonates where you, you know you feel that they're at um so this you know essentially this reading is a cross watcher reading for the karmic in your life and uh, we'll dip into you'll play a factor in it of course as we go in further but uh, this first row is different. This first row is going to be their general energy. Okay, so we're going to especially call upon our dark, our archangel, Michael. Will you please come protect myself and the collective of group one as we go to the highest white light for spiritual guidance? Please and thank you so much, my archangel Michael. Thank you so much. And then we're going to ask our angels, the ascended masters, and our spirit guides of the highest vibration for what is our karmic's karma to help us heal, you know, kind of get to know that we're vindicated, you know, that we didn't go through all that for nothing. So that's kind of where this read is going for, and just to really help people get a positive perspective on the new in their life, to let go of the old and um, walk with confidence and know that you are vindicated. Okay, so uh, Spirit, please tap me into the collective of Group One's karmic, and can you please give me their, their current energy? Show us the current energy of collective of the group one's karmic please and thank you okay so we're going to get one energy oracle for the karmic's general energy what is the karmic feeling one energy oracle please spirit for what is the karmic of group one feeling what is the karmic of group one what's their general energy please and thank you hostilities in reverse And on the back, appreciation. Okay. Twenty-six breaks down to an eight, which is also a karmic number. So they could very well be sitting in the middle of their uh, judgment right now, uh, wanting, to realizing, <laughs> getting a lot of shit thrown their way. Who knows? We'll see what's going on. All right, collective of group one. It feels like this person is now sorry. For sure, with that hostility is in reverse. Definitely wanting to make peace in some regard because they're getting shit on by life. So let's see. What is the collective of Group 1's karmic current energy, please, Spirit? What is the collective of Group 1's karmic current energy? Three cards, please. Three cards. Five of Wands with the Hanged Man. Oh, shit. One more, please. For the collective of group one's karmic current energy. That one bought on the floor. With the high priestess in reverse. Alright, so that essentially with the queen of pentacles on the back. Okay. So this person now sees you differently, collective. Uh, this person, your karmic in your life, they, again, they're going through some bullshit in life right now. They're having competition conflict, chaos, confusion. It's a shit ass energy to sit in this five of wands upright with the hostilities in the reverse. They're like, nah, I need to bow out of this fucking five of wands bullshit, right? They're starting to see things from a different perspective. And it definitely feels like spirit, they're on a spiritual time out here with this high priestess in reverse. They're not able to tap into their higher selves to get clear direction and understanding on where to go. They have to sit in this five of wands bullshit until they really get with the program, see things from a different perspective and make moves. Like spirit has them on a time the fuck out um, right now. And they're sitting in a lot of, a bunch of like 3D bullshit. 3D bullshit right now. So that's your karmic's current energy 
collective of group number one. Now moving further, because they have to learn appreciation. All right, so let's go ahead. What was their storyline in your life? All right. What was their storyline, Spirit? What was the storyline of group one's karmic in their life? One energy oracle, please, for the storyline of why, ugh, why group one's karmic was in their life. Door to romance. On the back, Archangel Uriel. Seventh chakra, crown chakra. Okay, Spirit, can I please get three cards why this karmic was in group one's life? What was the storyline? What was the storyline? What was the storyline, Spirit? Three cards, please. Three cards for my group one and why was the karmic in their storyline? What was there? What was their storyline in the karmic's life? Or in the group one's life? Imprints. <laughs> Ten of Wands. Okay. One more, please. One more face. Two more spirit says. Okay, it's a karmic wheel for sure. Yeah, ten of swords. Holy fuck. With the tower on the back. Okay. This is intense, group one. This is fucking major. You have three tens here. You have three, three, three here, right? Which is all about expansion. It's the ascended master number. It <laughs> so three, three, three the imprints, ten of wands. 10 the wheel with 10 of swords this connection was major in your life and it was to bring about expansion to you to bring about ends and karmic cycles so hopefully this could very well have been the very last karmic in your lifetime because you've learned so much fucking heavy left lessons from them oh yeah two of swords the six of wands okay so the storyline here this was definitely romantic i can't you can't deny that here with the, with the door to romance and the embrace essentially this person pushed you to actually know your worth most definitely because they betrayed you they gave you heavy burdens and it was a karmic wheel in some fashion to really push you in your inference energy like you didn't know that you were the inference collective and this person was here to make you see it through their their wrongdoings from their abuse from all the the shit that they put on you for all the you know the heavy tribulations that they've done on you it was a karmic will for you to really step into your power to really know and have discernment more or less over people and situations and things like this person they put some major lessons on you but it's it, it it was for it was not for nothing it was not for nothing you have too much here they have the three threes and the three tens that's major like you, this person even though they shit all over you and broke your heart and probably whatnot you know they definitely did you the biggest favor in the long run like in, in three years time you're going to look back on this situation and see it as the greatest blessing you'd ever received from them like this the, this what this soul did to you and you know what had to be done for you to be who you are three years from now all right that's deep that's fucking deep. Oh, my stomach got queasy just talking about it. To really listen to your intuition, to really trust yourself with that circuit on the back. Okay. Whew. So let's move on to the next layer. What, what, what must and needed to be learned from this karmic, right? So Spirit, can you please tap me in? And what was group one needing to learn from this karmic? What do they have to learn from this karmic? <laughs> Rest and rejuvenation in reverse. Jason possibilities on the back. Three cards, please, Spirit. What was group one? What does group one have to learn from this karmic? It's not even a need. You have to learn, group one. It's, this is what what's has to be learned. Judgment. Judgment. Fucking age. I don't say that. Two more, please. Two more for what must be learned from this karmic. What must be learned from this karmic? Two more, please, Spirit. What was what must be learned from this karmic? Thank you. Yep. Yep. Eight of Swords on the back. Okay. So this is what had to been learned, group number one. This is this is the most important fucking layer in this whole entire read. You gotta listen to this third layer. Third. Okay. So threes are big for you, group number one. All right. So rest and rejuvenation. What was needed to be learned? You essentially gave and gave and gave and gave to this person until it left you completely and utterly depleted, where you had nothing left. This person made you learn discernment and judgment. And, you know, you, you very well, this person pushed you to step into your spiritual gifts. 
right? And you answered the call to spirit. This person, whatever they did in three years time from now, you're going to be so thankful that they entered your life and did all the horrific things that they've done because you, you now know where to go, where to travel, where to trust, where, where to go. Like you just definitely do. You know now with the five of pentacles in reverse that you don't internalize anymore all the bullshit that this person put on you. You can now see very clearly that this person is damaged and broken and fucking a mess all in of themselves. And it's not your fucking problem. It was never your job to fix people. It's not your job to heal people. You're going to, you're going to get so much discernment over, you know, like it's, it's waking up from a people pleasing tendency, you know, from an overachiever, from an overgiver. It's like waking up from that knowing, that soul knowing that, you know, that was just a pre programmed, conditioned pattern inside yourself, and you're going to break away from it. You're going to realize that people are, are who they are and has nothing to do with you. And it's the most beautiful gift, and one can ever wake up to. Because you're definitely going to know where to put your energy and where not to. You're going to have discernment. You're going to be able to pick your ass up, move the fuck on over situations that don't fucking matter to you anymore. If the, what, things that once kept you bound and tied. Look, see how this person's, this is the shadow card. You, you don't, you're not stuck in that shit no more. This two of wands is now looking this way. Where once you would have been in this eight of swords energy, not being able to get untied from your situation and essentially being your own worst enemy. The two of wands is like, no, they, they, they have like this violet flame now leading them. Like the, you are, you have such, it's so strong. Like you have to learn the strength inside yourself to, for the 10 of cups. Like you'll never have to chase what's meant for you. So if this person is definitely wretched, this karmic that entered your life, but trust and believe it was for a divine, divine reason. And our soul, lo, soul, soul knowing it brought about the greatest gifts you'll receive in the future because you did the work on it and you listened from it. You know, you have to learn that people, energy vampires, you know, you have to be able to spot that shit out quicker than shit because they'll take and take and take and leave you nothing. So that's what this, this karmic pushed you into, to knowing, to believing. Okay. Whoo. <laughs> now the strength inside yourself and where to put your energy and where to give and where not to give. And it's, that's what was learned here. That what was learned here. You basically came across a bottomless pit. Okay. So now the fun part, which you all tuned into here, <laughs> what's going to be their karma, right? Cause obviously this person did major hurt on you with, with the karmic wheel surrounded by these tens. I mean, I can't get over the synchronicity factor of that. The 10 of wands, the wheel with the 10 of swords, big hurt this person put you through some big hurt and i'm not trying to discount that from you um because that's major shit there that's major shit okay so spirit can i please get uh, i didn't get my question out damn it hang on guys all right spirit we need to know we need judgment time we need to know the judgment time what's the judgment here what is there what is group one's karmic karmic's karma gonna be what is group one's karmic's what is group one's karmic's karma going to be can i please get one energy oracle one energy oracle what is group one's karmic's karma going to be what is group one's karmic's karma going to be spirit what is what is the karmic going to be what is the karmic what is the karmic's karma oh, yin and yang 22 with community in reverse. All right, let's see where this goes. What is the karmic's karma? Three cards for what is the karmic's karma? What is the karmic's karma spirit? The devil in reverse. What is the karmic's karma? The knight of wands in reverse. What is the karmic's karma? With the lovers. On the back, the Page of Pentacles, the Magician, and the King of Cups. Okay. I need to clarify that lover's spirit. I need to clarify that lover's. Clarify the lover's, please. Clarify the lover's. Clarify the lover's. Pentacles. All right. The 
King of Swords on the back, King of Pentacles. All right. So it feels like this person, your karmic, and it feels like they're going to get hit, obviously, in the love matters. It definitely feels that way with the lovers and the page of pentacles here. And then you have the knight of wands in reverse underneath the ten of wands and the five of pentacles. And then you have the devil in reverse here with the yin and yang. With the yin and yang, that definitely speaks to me of partnerships, right? I mean, come on, yin and yang. So their karmic, their karma is going to come in different, and, and, and I believe attracting their karmic partners. That's what it is, right? They're going to attract very, very low vibrational people with this Knight of Wands in reverse. That's a douchebag player energy. That's someone who comes in and out. That's someone who really doesn't give a shit about your feelings. That's someone who's very um, passion driven, someone who's very self-serving, someone who doesn't think before they act, right? They're going to be very low vibrational. They're going to attract very low vibrational people. And until they can really get that into balance the way that, the, you know, they're going to essentially attract the same people how to treat them the way that they treated you, right? And only when they learn their lessons and really make wise decisions and offers and become genuine and authentic and speak truth to people, will this, will they be able to get out of this karmic, for this karma relation, this karm, they'll have karmic relationships over and over until they learn the lessons that which you learned. They're def, they're going to be in this, they're going to be in that same loop. They're definitely gonna be in that loop until they make the right decisions. And I'm not saying they're going to come and I'll give you an offer because you, honestly, you don't fucking want this person. But for them to break their cycle, their karmic cycle for which they did to you, they're going to have to learn to be to, to fucking be apologetic, to really answer for what they've done, to really make atonement. You know what I mean? To, to be sorry, to have remorse, to make changes, to transform that, you know, so until they do that, they're going to be stuck attracting the same motherfucking people doing to them what they did to you. And that's fucking, that's the best karmic justice one could offer and one could ask for. So, you know, congratulations, group number one, like trust and believe you will have, you'll be vindicated and they're going to get, they're going to get what they gave. And that's the definition of karma. Amen. All right. So that was good. Group one. Let's go ahead and move on. Huh? For whatever reason, I got the kip out, man. I don't know. I don't use kip that often, but I was uh, going over my cards and seeing which ones I should use and, you know, for the read and whatnot. And I pulled Kip out to move it because she was um, all stuffed in a weird spot. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to use Kip. So let's go ahead and get some Kip and see what Kip has for you, group one. We're going to get, I think we need five Kips. I think we need five Kips. Five Kips, Spirit. Can we get five Kips for my collective of group one? What can we tell them? One, two, three. I think this might be your good karma. <laughs> Group one, two more, please. <laughs> All right, check it out. Okay, so I think that's we heard about what group, what your, what I'm sorry, back that fuck up, what your karmic's gonna receive. Now here, as I want to tell you, spirit wants to tell you what your good karma is going to be. All right, you're gonna be receiving sudden wealth. So if you see seven, 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 and elevens, seven elevens, pay attention, pay attention to that. You may meet the person here. We're gonna be talking about your good karma, right? Because sudden wealth regarding the main female you probably more than likely you know let's be real right and this is a little out of whack but you have marriage and then you have courtship okay so you have one two three four <laughs> okay and then you have a two five here high honor all right so i really feel that this is going you're going to be held in high honor group number one and here is why you're the main female female in this discussion right you have the two and the five and that five would make one two three four five which would be in succession i love succession numbers right so you because you did well and you did exactly what you needed to do you're going to be blessed with a with a lover right you're going to have this beautiful courtship right and which is going to lead to marriage because you kept yourself in high honor because you didn't just go fill that void with someone else like spirit because you were patient you're gonna find yourself hitting the jackpot of relationships that's all i'm gonna say 
and the person that you're leaving behind, they're going to be imprisoned, right? Take it where it resonates. Yeah. So that's beautiful. Like, so just keep your chin up, group number one, because you're definitely someone of high honor, high integrity, and integrity is big with the divine. So do never, 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 I don't give a fuck who you have to go against, never, ever lose your integrity. You will be blessed. I trust and believe group number one. That was beautiful. Thank you, Spirit, for that uplifting message for my group number ones. All right. Now, we're going to get back into your karmic because this is really what the karmic's all about. We need to get them a soul truth. We need to find out one soul truth that your karmic really needs to fucking, that highlights what they need to learn at the present time. Right? So we're going to get them a soul truth. All right? So let's see what your karmic soul truth needs to be. All right. Let's see what your karmic soul truth is. What's uh, group one's karmic soul truth, please, for it? Thank you. Am I ready to let go of this buried shame? Ooh, interesting. Let's read that again. Am I ready to let go of this buried shame? The feeling of shame is the lowest energy frequency there is. When you live in shame, you live in darkness. What part of you is ready to stand in the light? Is there any shame from a past experience that is ready to be a, to be healed? Today's soul action. Heal the shame by giving it a name. Bring it, to, bring it to the light and let it be seen, heard, and healed. It's revival season. Replace the shame with your soul's truth. Fill in the blank. My soul truth. My soul's truth is. So, yeah, your person, they definitely have some fucking shit to answer for. They got to answer for what they did because you are high honor collective. And they got to answer for what they did. Fucking A. Love you, spirit. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Let's get some moonology. <laughs> I was getting ready to shuffle that card in the mix, too. All right. Let's see what moonology has for us. Three cards, please. Moonology. What does moonology have? Prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. That's all about the home. Taurus rules, um, shit. What does it rule? <laughs> it rules the, I believe, no, no, Cancer rules the home of the fourth house. But Taurus is, um, I think, oh God. Is it the third house? No, it's Gemini. I gotta learn my houses a little better. Oh, goodness. Let's see, second house. So, okay, second house. Thank you, Spirit. Taurus rules the second house, which is all about um, your income, your money, how you make money, things of like that. So, there could definitely be um, a new beginning in, in prosperity for you, collective, uh, that, that rules the second house area. So, you could definitely be coming into new um, new ways, new opportunities of making money. So, prosperity lies ahead, like that sudden wealth. Like, it's beautiful. Two more, Spirit. The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moons for sure. So as you go into the new moon, coming into the waxing, that's like where, you know, you're really gaining momentum. Your hard work is paying off new moon and Capricorn. A lot of news here. A lot of news. And then you and your loved ones are saved, new moon and Cancer. So that's the fourth house in which I was talking about, which is the home. Everything is good. Like, you're so protected, group one. Um, just your, whatever you're doing, it's pay, it's going to pay off. Okay, new moon in Capricorn time. I'm shooting it's Capricorn season. So just keep going brick by brick, lay down your foundation and build your legacy. It, it, it's meant to be. It just really is. You have a lot of spirit guides helping you along the way in this mission for sure. So there's a lot of newness going on. So just keep walking into your new path, uh, whatever it is, because it's going to pay off for you in the monetary sense. You have two earth energies here with the Taurus and the Capricorn. So just keep going, just keep going, you know, just keep going. <laughs> That's all I can keep saying is just keep going. <laughs> all right, we're going to get some tea leaves. <laughs> These might have uh, some kind of synchronistic symbol for you um, to help you tap into the read. So, you know, I'm not just bullshitting you. We have two different piles that we're going to pop from because there's 200 of these little fucking round cards. And, uh, you know, it makes it easier for me to handle because... They're thin and they're round and, you know, yada, yada, yada. I bitch every time I use these. So if we get some tea leaves for it, can we get some tea leaves? Thank you. Ooh. Tea leaves for my group. Group 
group one base. Group one base. Is the no spoilers? That is pile <laughs> first half of the tea leaves. I couldn't fucking think. I couldn't talk. I was thinking in my head, but I couldn't get it out in words. So that was an awkward ass pause. <laughs> my back collective. <laughs> first half of the tea leaves. It's like I was imprisoned there for a second. <laughs> Let's get the next part of the tea leaves. Woo! Get those out. Oh, that one really wanted to go. That one fell. All right, that's plenty. That's plenty. Calling it. Okay. All right. Oh, shit balls. Okay, my dear collective of group one. If I can get all your shit together. All right. Take these where they resonate. There's a huge chunk here, so take it where they resonate. All right. Feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. Yep, that's your karmic, guys. Basket. Recognition. Reward for merit. Target a goal-oriented person. Cobweb protected from negative forces beyond your control. Again, you're definitely protected. Group number one. Too much concern with sexual matters. That's your karmic. Tulip great passion. Cracked cup dissatisfaction with life. Your karmic success. You horse short journey. <laughs> this will be a short journey. Bless, just believe. Hammock taking a vacation physically or mentally. Just coming to terms with accepting it. Lightning, control your anger or you will be sorry. This person might really try to pick at you to get your goat. Archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and pathways are opening up. Chain, chain of events that will affect your life. Pay attention to synchronicities of matters. Angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. Like the chain of events, your angels could very well be lining up so you can take the corrective actions that you need to take. Heart, love, deep affection, and caring so that you can come into a soulmate. Broken wishbone, a wish will not be granted where you'd really hoped out for that karmic. It wasn't meant for you. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. That's that Capricorn energy. Very driven. All right, so lastly, we are going to get some power surrender for your karmic. Okay? And this is what they need to surrender to, you know, be a better person or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, we all need, have to surrender shit. I'm not trying to say, like, we're better than our, our karmics. We have shit we need to surrender to. But we're highlighting what they need to surrender, Spirit. Can you please tap me in? And what does the karmic of group one, what do they need to surrender? Please and thank you. All right. What do they need to surrender? One more, please. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Surrender unhealthy relationships. Again, this is something that they're going to get into toxic karmic ass patterns. The same shit that they did to you is going to happen to them. Surrender unhealthy relationships. Let go of a relationship that doesn't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You, you deserve to be treasured by others by surrounded by positive people. So... <laughs> they, until they can really get some soul lessons, yeah, they're gonna have to surrender, you know, until they understand that shit. Surrender your ego. Amen. Cultivate gratitude. Be of service to others and, and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. Essentially, this person is toxic as fuck. Whoever your karmic is toxic as fuck. So until they can really atone for what they've done, <laughs> surrender to complete healing. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical and emotional and spiritual thing. They have to go. To, they have. They're gonna have to have a come and do this moment. They're gonna have to surrender the the toxic shit that's happening to them, right? To surrender their ego, and then and then surrender to healing to know that they are fucked up inside and they have to atone. And only when can they do so? May they keep going. You know, it's like they're in fucking monopoly jail spiritually until this shit happens. So. 
group number one, keep going. You will be vindicated. Trust and believe that they're going to come across the rotten ass, nasty ass people as they are, you know, like attract like, and that's what's going to happen. And because you have integrity, because you've learned the lessons, you will be blessed, my dear, dear group number ones. All right. And this just came to my mind. Okay. So on the back of the card um, of the shadow is the imprisonment, which 29 breaks down to 11. Like this, and this is you and 11 sudden wealth. Like those are the different karmic fucking rebounds coming. Like you're coming into sudden wealth. This person's coming into fucking spiritual jail. I am. I'm just telling you, I'm just fucking telling you. All right, group one. That's what I have for you. If this helped you, throw me a thumbs up, subscribe, share if you feel so called. Um, and then we can connect on further reads. All right. This is a little more different style than I normally do, but I enjoyed it and I hope it helped heal you and to let you know that you made the right decision and to keep fucking walking because this person's wretched and they were here for just a divine purpose to wake your ass up, to know who the fuck you are and to just keep it moving. All right. Love you, group ones. Talk to you later. Bye. Hello, hello, group number two. If you chose the Soda Light Tower and the Transit Light Tarot, welcome. You made it to your read. So let's go ahead and dip in on your karmic's karma and let's make you vindicated. All right. So we're doing this read for some healing, you know, to know that your pain didn't go in vain because karmic relationships, uh, friends, family, doesn't matter what the fuck it is, romantic. Uh, they're they're rough and they're tough and they're they're meant for soul growing and knowing and all that shit. So we're gonna dip in to see what the hell is going on with your karmic. All right. So this is a little bit different of a style read than I've done in the past. This is going to be um, essentially this top row is going to be your karmic's general energy, not your energy. So you're gonna have to really use your intuition to know if it resonates with you and what they are possibly, hopefully you're not even involved with this person. So you really have to use your intuition to know if this is them. Um, and we will go from there. All right. So without further delay, we're going to go, what's their general energy? What was the storyline and what was their storyline in your life? And then what did you have, what do you need to learn? What do you, what you must learn from this karmic situation? And then lastly, judgment. What is their karma? All right. So let's go on in it with spirit. Ah, we got to first start off with asking for protection from our dearest, most precious, beloved Archangel Michael. Will you please come down and protect myself and the collective of group number two. As we go to the highest white light for spiritual guidance, please. And thank you. All right. So. Ah. Okay. Angels, ascended masters, spirit guides, highest vibration. What is the karmic's general energy for group two, for the karmic in their life? What is the general energy of group two's karmic? Please and thank you. Okay. Let's go ahead and get, oh, shipples. That was a hot ass mess. That was a hot ass mess. All right, one more time. What is the general energy of group two's karmic, please, spirit? What is the general energy of group two's karmic? One, thank you, contract in reverse. On the back, carrying connections in reverse. Hmm. Seems like somebody is stuck like motherfucking Chuck. Okay, let's see here. What is group two's karmics general energy, please, spirit? What is group two's karmics ah, general energy? These cards are a lot thicker than your everydays. All right. I really need to learn to do the bridge shuffle. I really need to. What is the general energy, please, spirit, of group two's karmic? Three cards for group two's karmic general energy, please, and thank you. Crown of Swords. Ace of Vessels. So that is the King of Swords and the Ace of Cups. One more, please. With the King of Cups in reverse. Hmm. And the five of swords on the back. And that's where it explains it. <laughs> All right. So definitely it feels like your karmic is in a, another relationship. All right. That's what it feels like with this carrying connections on the back. 
and a contract in reverse. It feels like they are in a karmic relationship right now in which they are stuck in. Okay. Um, but the crown of swords here, the crown of swords, king of swords, that's someone who has no emotion, right? A king of swords has no emotion. That's air and air energy and it's in the upright. And so this is just definitely the, the karmic relationship that they're in. It definitely feels like that it's transactional. Okay. With the ace of cups, it definitely feels like this person only fills their own cup up at this time where it's this relationship, this karmic relationship or wherever they're at is transactional. There's no emotion here with that five of swords. It's all about mind games, mind fuck, all this. Whoever your karmic is, they are very selfish. Okay. With a king, with a king of sword, king of, bleh, king of cups in reverse. Again, they're using, they, they want, they monetize emotions or not monetize. Well, yeah, they do monetize emotions, right? Cause this person's very selfish, but was, they weaponize emotions. So I don't know why monetize came out. That could very well be for some of you, but they definitely weaponize emotions and it's only to fill their own cup up. This person really doesn't have any, um, gen genuine emotion towards, uh, people at this time. So that's their, uh, general emotion. Yeah. Four of cups in reverse. Okay. That's the karmic's general energy, okay? This person weaponizes emotions and it's to fill their own cup up. They, they have no, and they're stuck though. They're stuck in this situation because this is a wretched ass person. So uh, Spirit kind of get one energy oracle for what the storyline, why was this karmic in group two's storyline? What was the storyline that they, why were they there? Why was this karmic in group two's storyline? What was it? What? Door of Romance. On the back, Archangel Uriel. Okay. I don't know why I'm shuffling again. That's weird. Three cards for what was the Karmic's Apprentice of Swords. So that is the Page of Swords in reverse. Two more, please. What was their Ten of Pentacles? What was their... Why was why were there in the storyline of group number two? One more, please. Ten of cups in reverse. Shit. Three of wands on the back. Okay. So, but this was romantic. Um, you can't deny that with the thirty-three here uh, with the door to romance. Um, on the storyline and why they were here. So this group two, whoever this karmic is, we, you know it's romantic. I don't. I can't go any further. It feels like they were definitely here. It, with the Ten of Cups here, it's almost like you would have given anything just to have this person in your home life to build with them. Like you, you sacrificed having, like feeling like you had um, power in, in like the home life. With the Page of Swords in reverse, it definitely feels blocked. Like you had no say. You had, you know what I mean? Like it definitely feels like disempowerment. Like totally disempowerment like you're just like a bystander in your own home it, it just, that's what it feels like with this page of swords in reverse right and it came to the detriment of your emotional you know devastation so it's like where you're holding on so much for this person to, to be materialized in your 3d world you sacrificed your voice it def this definitely feels like throat chakra blocks all fucking day that you you like you didn't have a voice you didn't have an opinion you didn't have like you didn't matter in that regard like you were just there and it, and it and it jeopardized your emotional fulfillment just to have someone in your 3d life so that's the storyline like this person it feels like they fucking really just disempowered you very much it's just so you could have them in your home life it, it, that's interesting that's really interesting it's it's like you it's like you bargain, you definitely went away against your soul knowing, like your crown chakra. You went against that to keep, to keep this person in your, in your home life, to keep trying to build with someone who didn't appreciate you and made you feel less than, and it's, and, and, and because of that, it sacrificed your emotional fulfillment. All right, let's move on. So that was, that was the storyline of, um, why this person was in your life. Now what you must learn, what needs to be learned, what has to be learned from this karmic situation. Because karmic situations will be on repeat until you learn the lessons in them. So this third row is, is detrimental to this read on, you know, what you have to learn. 
So uh, Spirit, please tap me in. What is What must they learn from this karmic situation for group two? One energy oracle for what group two has to learn from this karmic situation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you're just waiting for that person to level up to like to really get with the program, but they're not. Three cards, please, for uh, what must they learn? Just hearts. Two more, please. The fool in reverse. One more, please. What must they learn? What has to be learned? The magician with the moon. And death in reverse. You have to accept endings. You have to accept endings. So this is, oh God, group number two. This definitely feels like you're just like hanging on a little bit to your, your karmic. And this is, I, I can't st stress to you enough how much you have by letting this person or by holding on this person, you are literally perpetuating that karmic cycle. Okay. I cannot stress this enough. This definitely feels like that, that group two, that you still have some heart strings attached to your karmic. You know what I mean? So please listen up. This person is not meant to, they're not your forever. They're not your forever. You're going to have to accept that. You really, really, really are. You're going to really have to accept that. You really have to tap into your intuition. You're really going to have to make moves in your life and start new. And, 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 and there's something about honoring your divine feminine that you weren't, that you have to. Like the, we're coming into the age of Aquarius, which is all about divine feminine empowerment. And this, you have to, you have to get with the program group too. By you holding on to your karmic, it's, it's, you're not letting, you're having blocks in your root chakra. So karmics are really attached in those lower first three chakras. It's, you know, that it, they're, and that's it. That's where it stops. It stops at like the third chakra. It doesn't make it to the fourth chakra, the heart chakra. Karmic relationships, they come in strong, fast, and fierce in those lower three chakras. And that's where I feel you so, so in, intertwined with your karmic. So you might still be entertaining this person, hoping that they're going to change, they're not there. You have to come to realize that this, this is a cycle that has to be broken. Okay. You have to get untied from this person. You have to free yourself from these lower three chakra, you know, entanglements that you are with this, this person. It definitely feels like you're energetically still tied to them. Maybe not so much if you're talking to them, but you on an energetic level, very much tied to this person. This person is here to teach you that they, that your future is not in your past. Okay, it's not. It really isn't. You have three major arcanas right here on the end. I mean, this person was brought for major life lessons, for major growth, but you have to let them go so you can grow. Your ego is still holding on to this person way too much, way too much, and you have to let them go because you will be stuck, group two. I'm not sure. I don't make the rules, man. I'm almost getting... I'm getting emotional trying to t to convey this to you because I want you to do stronger. I want you to do better, but you have to believe that you deserve better, that you are stronger. You have to really take all the tools before you and really harness your divine feminine power that's within you that you were so disempowered previously. Like you really need to do some work and some shadow work on yourself and really make shit happen because of your future, your happy ever after does not lie in your past. It's nowhere from your fucking past. Your future lies in the future and the, in the, what well, hasn't been done yet. You have to learn to let this shit go, right? You really do. Group number two, you have to let this shit go. It's, it's, it's all, you are your own worst enemy in this regard. You're so tapped in 35 breaks down to eight, which is a karmic number. Then you have the eight of swords. Okay. Then you have the fool and then you have magician and then the moon, like, and then uh, I'm telling you like this, you really need to harness your divine feminine and really, you know, be a magician in your own life and, and make corrective steps to, for new change only happens when new things are done. And that's where spirit is really trying to lead you to. All right. So you have to let this person go. This is your read. This person, they only care about themselves. All right. So you, you got to let them go. You're holding yourself back, holding yourself back. And you're just so entangled in those lower first three chakras. All right. And that's what makes it so hard, so difficult. Cause those are the, those are our matrix chakras, you know? Um, so take it where it resonates. Okay. Now the fun time <laughs> while you all tuned in to begin with, what is their karma group two? All right. What is your karmic's karma spirit? Can we please, I don't know why I'm called to shuffle again, but there we go. Can we please get one energy oracle for what is the karmic 
Six Karma. One energy oracle for what is the Karmix Karma, please, Spirit? What is the Karmix Karma? Pairing connections in reverse. With the man holding the heart on the back. Alright, let's go ahead and get three cards. What is the Karmix Karma for group two? What is group two's Karmix Karma? Three cards, please, Spirit. What is the Karmix Karma? Ace of Swords. Two more, please. What is their karma spirit? <laughs> Death in reverse. One more, please. The Ace of the um, Page of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, I love this with the keeper of wands which is the knight of wands okay because this person is such so douchebaggy in and out self you know self-serving essentially just self-serving very much their karma they're not going to have any genuine connections at all at all until you know they're it's almost like any person that they try to approach they're automatically repelled by this person they can automatically see the bullshit of this person like this person's not gonna be able to pull a fast one on any to one anytime soon and I, that's fucking amazing it's fucking amazing like their karma is everyone's gonna see them for exactly who they are right because this person made no changes in life to better up and to, to do better like you know what i mean to make changes to actually be a genuine to have a death and rebirth like they refused it right and they're going to be stuck they're going to be stuck in life. They're not going to be able to make money. They're not going to be able to make anything fucking happen for their life. And that's their karma. They're not going to have any genuine connections. And you know what? They may actually want to fall in love one day. And Spirit's like, no. You know, until you atone and, and did what you, you know, answer for what you've done to our collective of group number two. You know, oops, sorry, collective. <laughs> Damn, there's your confirmation. They are, um... They're not going to have any genuine relationships at all. They'll, they'll attract the same dingy ass people that they are. And um, they're not going to get nowhere in life with that page of pentacles. And like, they're like spirits really going to hit them in the monetary world. It definitely feels like that because they didn't take any steps. Right. And everyone's going to see them for the wretched person that they are. And they're not going to have any caring connections. Like this person's going to be a, uh, a lone island. You know what I mean? Like no one's going to want to fuck with them. And um, because... <laughs> Because they're wretched. You know, like, Spirit's going to protect all these fucking people from this wretched-ass person. And I fucking love it. That's vindication. That's vindication. All right. Let's go for it. It stops with you, group two, is what I just heard. Like, whatever this person's done, all the hurt and all this bullshit, it stops with you. Where you were genuine, pure of heart, they're going to really, um, they're going to have to answer for it. So trust and believe you will be vindicated. You may not see it but believe that it's happening. We live in a benevolent universe and the scales always get balanced at the end of the day. All right. So we're going to get some kips. Oracle time. We're going to get some kips for you guys. Let's get some kips for my collective of group number two. Collective of group two, please, spirit. Get some kippers for them. Get some five kips. I don't use kips enough. Five kips for my group twos, please. One, two, three. Oh. Yep. Two more. Yeah. So if this was a family person, they're definitely going to be in thoughts of it. Okay. So this main man right in here with the mature woman, despair on the back. Okay. So message of concern. They're definitely just going to, they're going to just come across false people. Like that's all they're going to do. And that again, that's another, that's an eight. That's a karmic situation. They're definitely going to get nothing but fucking just get bitched or like dicked around by, by fake ass people. Right. Because they have to really think about what they lost, really think about what they gave up and how, you know, shady they are. You know what I mean? So they're going to come across the very same people. They're going to hit nothing but just 
shady ass people. They're they're only gonna be, they're gonna be dicked around by shady ass people because they manifested it. They got what they give, and you know what I mean. There you go. They have to really think about it. They're gonna do some shadow work on what they did to you, collective of group number of two. You know, and it was very well could have been you know the spouse situation or a very you know they could have you guys could have been married with this family room here. You know, take that where it resonates. Um, or they, you kind of built something together and they're going to have to really look at the shit that they gave up because they're dealing with shady ass people just like them. All right. Now let's go ahead and get you, let's get the, this is going to be soul truth for your karmic. What does group two's karmic soul truth is spirit? What is the soul truth of group number two? Please and thank you. What is the soul truth for group number two's karmic? Soul truth for group two's karmic, please. Soul truth for group two's karmic. What is the soul truth for group two's karmic spirit? Soul truth for group number two's karmic. Soul truth for group two's karmic, please. Soul truth for group two's spirit. Am I on the right path? Sometimes we second guess what we are doing. We lose trust in the process and question if we are even on the right path at all. Know this, you're on the you're on the right path. Keep going, keep believing, keep remembering that you made a soul contract that you are currently fulfilling in every area of your life. Even if you can't see it, that doesn't mean it's not real. Today's soul action. Today's search for all the ways that you are aligned with your soul's purpose. The signs will appear. Let this newfound trust fuel your new you, fuel, <laughs> you trust your fuel your next that. Your newfound trust fuel your next steps. So yeah, and then we have the contract card right there in reverse. Like this person, <laughs> they are in a, in a karmic contract, probably, you, you know, with another person over there. So, you know what I mean? They're, they're all up in their head about shit. They don't know where the fuck they're going. They don't know if they're on the right path. They don't know. They don't fucking know. They have no divine guidance at this time. They're, they are fucking stuck like Chuck. Um, so let's go ahead and get you some Moonology. Moonology for my group twos. Moonology for group twos. Moonology for group two, please, sir. One. One more, please. Or two more, so it says. Okay. All right. On the back, it says, what do you need to release? Wanting moon. I feel like you still need to release your karmic um, group number two. Meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. That's the 12th house. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. That's the 11th house. Your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. We just came out of eclipse season. But. So you have air and water energy here. It definitely feels like you need to step into your divine feminine and honor your divine feminine. And you, that's being tested. Definitely. And I feel like that's why you have this push and pull this back and forth to your karmic still is because that is being tested but if you pass the test you can expect some powerful change and possibly this change could have took place back or into you know eclipse season and playing out so it you know it, as above so below has to take place things have to take place in the spiritual realm before they can manifest into the third matrix 3d realm so this change could very well have been you know from a prior eclipse season and it's all coming into balance and focus now but you're being your 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 commitment to yourself is being tested. That's I definitely feel that very strongly. Meditate and contemplate and love yourself. Bring love into your situation. Be your own hero that you wish you would have had. You know what I mean? Bitches gotta save themselves these days. You know what I mean? All right. So now we're gonna get into some tea leaves. 
This will be the first half of the tea leaves, and we'll pop from both halves because they are big ass cards. Well, not big cards, they're little cards, but they're thin. There's 200 of them so that they can make a big old stack. So we're going to just pop some tea leaves and uh, see what we got for you. Group twos, this could be something assigned for you, or you know, you never know what a tea leaf might hold. So we're just going to roll with it. All right. There's the first pile of tea leaves. We have one fall on the floor. All right, second pile of tea leaves. Oh, that was a piss poor shuffle. Tea leaves from this half. these from this half spirit. Okay, that's funny. All right. Let's see what tea leaves are here. So take it where it resonates. There's quite a few. So obviously not all of these will resonate. Ant, work, achievement, success. Keep working hard at yourself. Dog, far away, a distant friend is thinking of you. Shark, take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Like you can't keep giving and keep giving and keep giving to that, that person, this person. It will just bleed, drain you dry. Pin, new job or career. Chair empty, someone is leaving your life. Pig, beware of greed. That person, I'm telling you, they just, they're just takers. Fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. Those first three chakras, I'm telling you. Staff, you'll be taken care of in difficult times. Kangaroo, unsettled times, need to plan ahead. Egg, success assured with gold, with good plans and hard work. Haystack, karma, you will reap what you have sown. Oh, amen. Door, opportunities are waiting for you. Vase, secret admirer. Basket, recognition, reward for merit. Hand, in need of help, assistance, or guidance. Wheel, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Fucking your karmic for sure. Pale, time to get out of a situation. Dog, protection from a powerful friend. A lot of dog synchronicities here. Two dogs. So take those where it resonates, my dear group number twos. Um, and then what was, oh, surrenders, sorry, surrender. So this is what your karmic needs to surrender. We all need to surrender shit, you know what I mean? Uh, but here's what is your karmic, what they need to surrender. What does group two's karmic need to surrender spirit? Please and thank you. What does group three's karmic need to surrender? Group two, excuse me. What does group two's karmic need to surrender? Surrender to what is two more, please? Two more for what does group two's karmic need to surrender? One more for what does group... Thank you. Ooh, they got four. Okay. Surrender to what is. The fl flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. Surrender worry. Make a commitment not to leave an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. Surrender negative thinking. You have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly focus on positive affirmations. Surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen. Then let go of results. Holding on too tightly of a desired outcome can sabotage it. Yeah, like, I definitely feel that this person is, um, they're stuck in this negative loop. And then this is on the back. Surrender your belief in scarcity. The universe is asking you to open your infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. Like, this person is stuck in negative scarcity mindset, and that's why they have to constantly fill their own cup up and they until they can really show up for people. 
they're going to um, they're going to be stuck in this low vibrational fear, right? Because they're just trying to achieve an outcome um, that's it's really self serving, and spirit sees it all. So <laughs> until they can really let go and surrender to what is, they'll be stuck in those low vibrational energies. Um, so it is what it is. So there is your vindication, group number two. I hope this helped you heal and get some kind of you know positive thinking that you know people don't think that everything gets balanced in the end so this person's going to attract the same wretched people that they are you get what you give in this world and they are no different so i hope this helped your group too if it did throw me thumbs up if it feels so cold you know throw a subscribe and connect on further reads i'll talk to you and i'll holla at you next time group twos bye Hey, hey, group number three, if you chose the mystical or mystic Merlinite, this is your read or Indigo Gabro, I believe is also the other um, term, but mystic Merlinite, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love this star, this tower is one of my favorites, so we're going to place it right over there. And the Medieval Scapini Tarot, we're going to slide over to this side. So essentially, you're a cross watcher for this read for your karmic. Um, this is a, a different style than what I've normally done in the past, but um, I'm really enjoying it thus far. So we're going to be getting into, essentially, this is your vindication. What is your karmic's karma? We're going to get their general energy. What is their storyline in your life? What must you learn from this karmic dynamic? And then lastly, judgment. What is their karma? So we're really going to have to use your intuition um, because we're tapping into their energy, not yours. So if you're hopefully not involved in this person's life at all, you'll really have to use your intuition and know if it resonates for you or not. Um, so without further delay, let's get on in it, my dear group number threes. So we're going to tap into your karmic's energy. All right. We first got to start off with asking for protection from our dearest, most precious beloved Archangel Michael, please come down and protect myself and the collective of group number three as we go to the highest white light for spiritual guidance, please and thank you. And then we're going to uh, ask our angels, the ascended masters, and our spirit guides of the highest vibration. Please, Spirit, tap us into Group 3's karmic and what is their general energy of the karmic that Group 3 has in their life. Please and thank you. Now, this can be family, friends, romantic, you know, take it where it resonates. Um, either way, karmic relationships are really shitty. So, <laughs> you know, take it where it resonates. All right, Spirit, what is, goodness gracious, I can't, I can't leave it off on a, I can't leave it off on a shitty shuffle. Thank you, Spirit. What is the general energy of Group 3's karmic? Group 3's karmic, what is their general energy? Angel of love in reverse. On the back door to romance. Okay. All right, these are so long. Please tap me into the collective of Group 3's karmic spirit. And what is Group 3's karmic's current general energy? What is their general energy? Please and thank you. What is the general energy of group three's karmic? Oh, yeah. okay. Group three's karmic, please, spirit. What is group three's general energy of their karmic? Nine of cups. Two more, please. Chariot in reverse. One more, please. Get the five of wands. Okay. Ace of Swords in reverse. Okay, so with the Angel of Love in reverse, it definitely feels like with the Nine of Cups, this person feels very selfish. With the Nine of Cups, the Nines are very, they're solo energies, right? This person's only in it for their own emotional gain, for what whatever they whatever makes them happy, okay? With the Five of Wands, this is competition, chaos, confusion, bullshit. This is a very conflict card with the Chariot in reverse. This is not being able to manage your, your Chariot on where to go, right? Because it's... A, it almost feels like this person uses emotions to be able to get what they want. And they're they're gonna now they're they're being held accountable for it, right? Like they have to answer for 
their self-servedness, you know what I mean? For, for being so selfish with emotions, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like with this chariot in reverse, they're not being able to control their wagon and which way to go. They're not being able to control on, you know, in the direction in which they need to go. And they're stuck in this, this five of wands, bullshit ass energy. And with the ace of swords in reverse, this is definitely confusion. This is definitely, you're not protected by the divine. This person is being, is, is, it feels like they're having to answer for why they are so, emotionally selfish right emotionally selfish that's what it feels like okay so this person is having to answer for what they've done that's this is their current energy because it feels like they use love as a way to get what they want and spirit sees that shit spirit don't like that shit okay so now let's go further but what is what was their storyline in your life i like to speak of them in the past tense because i pray that they're out of your life karmic should never be in your life Can we get one energy oracle for what was their storyline in, in group three's life what was the storyline what was their storyline why were they in group three's life one card for why the storyline <sighs> that was too many spirit i can't take all that i just need one please just one Thank you, Spirit. Angel of Balance in reverse. With the world in reverse. Okay. Three cards for what was this, their storyline in Group Three's life? Four of Swords. Two more. What was the storyline? The Emperor in reverse. That's a four, and that's a four, and that's a 48. Four plus four makes eight. That's all about balance, right? One more. Two is two of wands in reverse. With the four of pentacles in reverse. Okay, essentially, a lot of fours here, right? Fours are, are, are essentially cornerstone for building, you know what I mean? So the storyline, this person definitely, I feel they made you unbalanced with the angel of balance in reverse, right? With the four of swords, four of swords is about healing, rest and rejuvenation, the Emperor in reverse, this is definitely someone who is uh, very bossy, someone who is very self-serving, someone who just doesn't give a shit about the collective, someone who is all about themselves, right? And it almost feels like you had to really be able to spot this energy out. And, and it's like you didn't with that two of wands in reverse. This person, their storyline was to make you really confused on what to do. And, 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 and it really confused your mental body. It really shook you up on a soul level. That's why this person came into your life was is to really, I believe, get some knowledge about something with forces about building, right? So the four swords, swords about intellect, communication, things of that nature. So it really feels like this person pushed you made you you had to it wasn't even a choice like th this person made you have to go in go within to do some healing work on yourself to balance yourself out because i feel like this person came in your life and just shook your foundation upside down it just definitely feels like it shook your foundation upside down and it happened so quickly so so quickly you're just still reeling from like the aftermath of the situation you know what i mean with that four of pentacles in reverse this shows me that you're having a hard time letting go and walking on, right? The Four of Pentacles is about unhealthy attachments. The Eight of Cups is needing to walk away. So I feel like you're kind of still battling with these emotions within yourself. And, and man, and again, that's a four and that's an eight. There's definitely some you knowing where to build and where not to build. And this person showed you that. This person is giving you discernment of the situation. But it feels like you still have some ties to there that you're not wanting to really hear um, or let go of. So we'll go in further. But this is why they came in your storyline. They came in to really question your whole belief system, it feels like, and just just rattle you to your very core. Okay. Now let's go in. What must you learn from this karmic situation? Okay, this is what you have to learn. It's not about wanting to learn or needing, you know, it's a must. You, you have to learn this. Why? What is what must they learn from this karmic situation? One energy oracle for group three in this karmic. What must they learn from their karmic situation? Envy in reverse with the door to romance still on the back. Letting things go. Three cards, please, on what must group three learn from this karmic situation. Six of swords in reverse. Two more. What must they learn from this situation? There's that four of pentacles. What must they learn from this situation? What must... Oh, that was way too many. That was like five cards. We just need one more. One more. What must they learn? The Page of Swords. 
Yeah, with the Queen of Wands on the back. Okay. The Queen of Wands in the back can definitely, in reverse, it's, um, it speaks of jealousy. It speaks of, um, you know, resentment, like just, just low vibrational fire energy. Just, you know, just real, just angry, just really fucking angry. <laughs> the Queen of Wands in reverse. You have to learn is that if this person has left you for someone else, to not be envious over it. Because... <laughs> That person, they are definitely, they, it's not love whatever they went to. There is no forward movement for this person. So you have to let it go. You have to protect yourself and what's yours and not give to this person anymore with that four of pentacles. And the page of swords is finding out, like doing the research on why this person ticks the way they tick. You know what I mean? To really come to terms with it. So that way you don't take it personal. I think that's probably a problem that why maybe you hold this on is because you take it personally. Like this person passed you over and you took it personally when they're just a fucking a wretched ass person. You have to let that go. You have to let that go that we all get what we give. You know what I mean? So <laughs> this is your vindic vindication reading. Okay. Like this is, you have to understand to let things go because you're holding on to you're, you're going to catch shrapnel for this person in their life. And you know what I mean? Because they're going to get theirs. Trust and believe they are going to get theirs. So if you're still involved in their life, you could very well be, you know, catch fucking shrapnel from it. You know what I mean? Like, so when this person, when spirit fucking knocks this person on their ass for all the, the wretched things that they do, you can't be the one to pick them up. You know what I mean? Because then it's going to perpetuate the whole cycle all over again. This person needs to fall on their ass and fall on their ass good. Because... Uh, they 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 don't have any genuine emotion. It doesn't feel like you need to find the research. You need to really figure out what it is. I mean, like there's a black cat here. This, this is very good. There will be a spiritual lesson. Oh, this is a spiritual lesson. I'm not saying it is. It is a spiritual lesson. So you need to find out why that spiritual lesson is. All right. This black cat is looking back at this page of swords. Like it is prompting you. Like hey, look into the mysticism of it, the esotericism of it, to really come to peace with the matters. Because this is this is deeper and bigger and than you could possibly fathom. There's a lot of information that you're needing to find out. So just protect yourself, protect your home. Don't let this person in your home because they're going to get what they get. Like, and you have to let people fall on their fucking ass with the six of swords in reverse. You can't be there to fucking wipe up the blood, kiss the boo-boo. And because once they get better, guess what? They're fucking repeating that karmic pattern all over again. This person left you if they did leave you um, or, you know, out of your friends, whatever it is, it's not. It's not because of you, it's because of them. So you have to really just come to terms that people are just wretched and what they do to you isn't a reflection of you, it's a reflection of them, okay? And and of their fucking inner demons and, and shit like that. So let's go further, spirit. So this is the most important aspect that you have to take away from this whole read and get some information on it and keep protecting yourself from this person because about you just keep opening yourself up to this person because you, you know, it's like, ah, oh, they came back. No, they didn't come back. They're just, we're here for another fucking karmic cycle. Can I please get spirit? What is the karmic's judgment? What is their karma? Can I get one energy oracle for the, for the judgment, for their, for group three's karmic's judgment, for their karma? What is group three's karmic's karma going to be spirit? What is group three's karmic's karma? One card, please. One card. Uh, fourth shocker look at all those in the fucking reverse guys boom 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 and this deck is all mixed it's all mixed all those in reverse that's major this is an ending that needs to take place all right so just take that where it resonates and on the back you had walking away in reverse so it's, again it's you kind of holding on to this person okay so this is their karma, all right? You can't be there to help them fucking pick their ass up. Can I get three cards, please, for what's the karma? Five of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. Two more for what's their karma. Yes, 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 yes. The Nine of Swords in Reverse on the back. That's significant. I really want you guys to see that. Okay, Five of Pentacles. This is their karma with the Three of Cups and the Page of Cups. Okay. So their karma, is they're going to be like, they're not going to get any established relationships, like ever. It really doesn't. It feels like it's going to be very surface level 
very surface level, very good time Charlie, good time fucking Gladys energy vibes. Like, and it's always going to leave them out in the cold. They're never, ever going to get foundationally sound ever. Their heart chakra is blocked off here with this fourth chakra, right? Because, be, because of the love and the relationships that they're going to encounter, they're going to be nothing but surface level, couple weeks, two, three weeks, and then it's going to fall apart really quickly. And it's going to be, this is going to be your justice because where you've loved this person, you would have gave them the fucking world. They're blocked in the heart space. They're not going to be able to have genuine love like you are going to have group number three by you healing and moving on this person. They're always going to be left out in the cold. They're always going to be feeling left. They're always going to be on to the bigger and better thing. That's going to be their karma. They're never going to feel satisfied with a person. And that is fucking shitty. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. Your karmic is going to have nothing but surface level, surface level encounters and nothing but that because their heart chakra is so blocked off. They don't know how to give and receive love. And that's their karma. They're always going to feel lack in the love department, always onto the bigger and better thing. They're never, ever going to get grounded, rooted, stable and secure with someone. And that's going to be their karma. And that's going to be a problem that they're going to have to face for the rest of their life. And that's a real fucking problem. This is going to, so this is going to be a lesson that I, I feel that they're going to have to repeat in another lifetime. I feel like <laughs> that definitely so. Because if this feels like infinite, this feels like this is their fate for the rest of their life as they know it. Like, this is it. And this is, they're going to have to have a lot of, they're going to have to speak up. They're going to have to answer for a lot in their next lifetime. I feel like they really, um yucked it up here you know this lifetime really fucked shit up this lifetime and they're gonna have a, a hard lifetime next lifetime possibly be in your shoes and get treated you know what i mean by how take it where it resonates but this person service level relationships they're never gonna feel actual genuine love like you are and it's just something that they brought upon themselves because they don't know how they, their heart chakra is so blocked they 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 can't they don't know how they only know how to love themselves Interesting. All right, let's move on to Oracle time. So yeah, I wouldn't wish this energy on anyone. Never feeling satisfied in love. Always on to the bigger next best thing. You'll never get anywhere, 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 anywhere. <laughs> All right, so let's get us some kips, some kip lips. Can we get some five kips, please? Five kips, please. All right, what does the kit have for my group threes? Ooh, privileged lady, number 12. Four more. Occupation, one, two, three, four. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Three more, please, sir. <laughs> Poverty right here in the middle. <laughs> Marriage. Distance horizons. Okay. That is so odd. All right. So, and on the back, judication. Okay. Community. So, all right. So, this is essentially a snapshot. <sighs> One, two, three, four. Privileged lady, occupation. So, you have poverty, then you have marriage, and the distance horizons. This is so interesting. <laughs> I feel like you collective, you're a privileged lady, right? And just continue to work really hard. You could definitely have an occupation that is privileged. Honor it, right? Because you're going to be blessed. You're going to be blessed with a union and marriage and the distance horizons. And it's going to be something that's like, you couldn't even imagine how great it all came together. Like there's this ship in the sky here. Like, I mean, that's so magical. And that's a 336, right? And here's a 37. As for your karmic, they're going to be put in this poverty mentality as they sit and watch you get married because you've worked hard and you're going to be blessed in something. Like this is going to be your good karma and they're going to be feel really left out in the cold as they watch you move the fuck on with your life. And that's what you deserve. So take this where it resonates. You could very well be a privileged lady with a very privileged op 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 <laughs> occupation. Right. So just hold fast because this person, they are not who you're meant to marry. You're going to be, th this person is not marrying no one anyone to time. So this, they're stuck in surface level relationships the rest of their life. You will have a marriage in the distance horizons. That's going to be more than you possibly ever could have dreamed of. So just hold on to your vision, hold on to you, to your privilege. So just know that, know that you're privileged and you will get everything that you're meant to have. So trust and believe. Okay. 
All right, so next we are going to be getting a soul truth, a soul truth for your, do not marry your karmic group number three. I'm just going to throw that out right now. Do not fucking do it or you'll end up in poverty. Okay, this person is going to have to repent for their wrongdoing. So don't marry them. All right, your future is not in your past. Okay, I cannot express that enough. All right. That's a warning for some of you because I know some of you don't want to walk away from this karmic situation. <gasps> don't do it. <laughs> one soul truth for group three's karmic, please, Spirit. Can we get one soul truth for group three's karmic? Thank you. Am I, fo am I focused on what I want most? So this person's always focused on what they want most. <laughs> one reason so few of us achieve what we truly want is we never direct our focus. We never concentrate our power. Most people dabble, dabble their way through life, never deciding or mastering anything in particular. Today's soul action. What you focus on grows. Today, ask yourself, is my life a reflection of my values or do I need to make adjustments, prioritize? This person has a lot of reflecting to do. <laughs> a lot of reflecting need to do. Absolutely. To make adjustments for their soul growth because they're going to have to, they're going to have to answer for it. They're never going to have anything genuine in their life like nothing it's gonna be surface level it's gonna be relationships that last two three weeks and then boom like it fucking on to the next or you know and it could very well be people who see this person for who they are and then they're like nah i'm good two weeks goes by i'm on to the next best thing you know because they're not the best the thing so it's gonna be awesome you're going to get vindicated my dear group number threes <clears throat> all right so let's get you some moonology let's get you some moonology let's see what moonology has for you Moonology, please, Spirit. What do we have for Moonology for my group threes? Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. Don't bobble out. We'll keep it. You're very close to achieving your goals. Give you some moon. Two more, please. Oh. One more, please. All right. On the back, step out of your comfort zone, North Node. Don't let your past hold you back, South Node. So this is for someone who really needs to go in and, and investigate where their South Node, North Node uh, lies. Because there is something there for you. I'm going to keep those out right there. Okay. Your commitment is being tested first quarter moon. You're very close to achieving your goal, Gibeus Moon. Prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. So that the Taurus is... um. Is the ruler of the second house, which is a finance. And then your loved ones are safe, new moon and cancer, which is the seventh house. So your, your second and your seventh house are highlighted here, as well as your north node and your south node. So look into those placements. There could definitely be some information for you in regards to what your second, uh, what, what planets and, and sign that your second house is in and what planets and sign your, um, what's in your seventh house as well as your north node and your south nodes, what their what the signs are and what houses they are there. And there's going to be a lot of information for you. Okay. So I just want to throw that out there. All right. A lot of new information for you and, and with understanding your north node and your south node and, and these two houses in particular, the second house and the seventh house. Okay. So now we're going to be getting you some tea leaves. Seventh house, not seventh house. I'm sorry, that the cancer is a uh, fourth house. I apologize, guys. Cancer is the fourth house. My apologies. So for the fourth house placements, which is your home and, and all that, um, my mistake. Libra is the seventh house. That's partnerships and stuff. Tea leaves, please, Spirit. Can we get some tea leaves for my group threes? Oh. Tea leaves for my group threes, please. All right. That's the 
first half. Now let's do the second half. Second half spirit. One more. All right. All right. So take these where they resonate. They probably all will not resonate. Uh, so just a big chunk of tea leaves. You just never know what tea leaf might hold. Mountain Road. You're on the road to success. Fan. Romance. Celebration. Party. Cracked cup. Dissatisfaction with life. Fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. Man, dealing relationships with a man. Grasshopper, situations in the balance that require careful handling. Gong, an exciting event. Hat, you'll be playing a different role. Boot, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times. Forest, muddled, unclear thinking. Four leaf clover, great good fortune. Rat, someone working against you or behind your back. Crown, honor and respect will come to you. Bear, danger, especially in money matters. Wheel, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble endlessly, aimlessly. Bird perched, waiting for news, package or letter. Egg, success, assured with good plans and hard work. I like it. All right, so lastly, we're going to close it out with some surrender cards. So this is what your karmic needs to surrender. We all need to surrender things. We're not any different. We're all people, too. We put our pants one leg at a time. So what this is focused on, what does your karmic need to surrender? What does group three's karmic need to surrender, spirit? What does group three's karmic need to surrender, please and thank you? see what your karmic needs to surrender group three what is our, what does your karmic need to surrender what does group three's karmic need to surrender spirit what does group three's karmic need to surrender please and thank you okay surrender denial <laughs> accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. You know, this person's blindfolded. They don't want to have to see the bullshit that they've done. Surrender to your full power. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small because they feel so disempowered. They feel like they run people because they don't know how to run themselves. Surrender to passion. Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your pa your passion and let it flow. Like, there's a mask here. Like, I, put, I think it was group number... It was group two where the, the, the kipper was the false person. I definitely feel like they're just going to be running into nothing but people of the same low vibration as them. They're going to get what they get. Like, <laughs> make no mistake. You just have to let this person go because they are, they're false. And until they really answer for what they've done, spirit's not going to let them get anywhere anytime soon. All right, so that is what I have for you, my group threes. I really hope this helped you and gave you some, you know, vindication that, that you know, whatever they did to you is not going to go in vain and spirit has your back. So just trust and believe in the, in the benevolent universe and that everything's happening for you, not against you. And whatever it happened, it was to, to put you into your full power. All right, so that's what I have for you, group threes. This helped you throw any thumbs up. Feel so called to subscribe so we can connect on further readings. All right. I love you guys. I hope this helped you. Talk to you later. Bye.